if you haven't seen it, you've probably at least heard of History Channel's hit survival TV show alone, basically where they drop people off on Vancouver Island and see who can last the longest. It's in its second season, and this year, one of the contestants is one of our own uh, YouTube guys who actually was a member of the Gauntlet Review Ring, Larry Roberts. So I ran into Larry at Blade Show here in Atlanta last weekend, and he was kind enough to talk to me for a minute about his top three survival tips. That's coming up on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. So, like I said, Larry Roberts is a uh, fellow YouTube guy and just a great guy. And he um, is a member of the Gauntlet Review Ring, has a great YouTube channel. If you haven't seen it, you want to check it out. And the, the man's got skills, that's all I can say. We met at Blade Show, and he was kind enough to talk to me for a minute about his three top survival tips. And what Larry had to say may surprise you. It had nothing to do with bears, cougars, or other wild animals, but it was good, solid advice from somebody who's been there and done that. So with no more rambling on my part, let's just hear what Larry has to say. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, I couldn't resist that because when I got home to edit the videos that I shot, about 10 videos on Saturday at Blade Show, and Larry's was the only one with no audio. So you wind up with, with three or four minutes of us going, I didn't figure you wanted to watch that. But I do think the information that he had to share was actually probably not what you would expect to hear. And um, so I think it's worth repeating. So this is Larry Roberts' top three survival tips. Uh, tip number one is let somebody know where you're going. Provide a detailed information. Leave them a note saying where you're going, when you, how long you expect to be gone, and when you plan to be back. And then also tell somebody who to call if, if you're not back. Go ahead and take the time to look up the ranger stations or whoever's around just in case. You know, if you're planning a three-day trip, so maybe three and a half, four days, you're not back, they know to call somebody. So that's the first step to avoid having to really deal with long-term survival is just let somebody know where you're going. Just plant, plant it. I mean, that's just, it seems like a no-brainer, but so many people just take off and don't tell anybody. Number two is um, pretty fitting where we are right here. Practice the skills you need to know for survival in a safe, non-threatening environment so that you can really pin them down. You know, and I think Larry mentioned that gear, everybody likes gear and gear is good, but you know, skills are, are something they, that you can't lose. You can't take them away from you. So, and we're here in my backyard studio and here's the facts. If you wanna practice a bow drill or you wanna practice how to build a fire or you wanna practice um, first aid or any of those things, this is a good safe place to do it because guess what? If you build a fire, the wood doesn't know if it's burning here or it's burning in the middle of, you know, 100 miles from nowhere in the middle of the wilderness. But the, the key point Larry made was go ahead and learn those skills and practice those skills and hone those skills in, in your backyard in a safe environment. And then when you are out, if, if you happen to be in a situation where you really need them, they'll be second nature. You'll have the muscle memory. You won't be thinking about it, fumbling around, trying, trying to figure out how to do something that you saw on YouTube, but you never really got the hang of at home. So tip number two is, is take the time to go ahead and really practice that stuff in your backyard where, where it's convenient and safe, and you can do so and really kind of perfect those things. And the third thing Larry said, which he actually said maybe should have been number one based upon the time he spent alone out there, was um, to... Uh, make sure you stay hydrated. That is so, so very important to, uh, to make sure you keep yourself hydrated. And something he says you may not think about is if you're planning on just boiling your water to keep it clean, man, you, that's gonna take a lot, a lot of work because not only you gotta gather a lot of water, you gotta keep, you gotta continually be gathering water and boiling it, but every, it takes firewood and wood and effort to boil that water. He says, and as you're gathering the wood and you're processing the wood, you're actually burning, you're, you're, you're sweating out water and you're losing water through all the different methods of evaporation out of your body. So it takes even mo more water that if you can find a safe water source, you know, a spring or whatever, obviously that's gonna be a lot better for you than boiling water. But whatever the case may be, you gotta be hydrated. He, he said that every time he's in the woods doing anything, he always pays attention to his urine and makes sure that if it's got any kind of color, it's hydrated. And he also pointed out that, you, you know, in his experience, you really gotta force yourself to drink before you get thirsty because once you're thirsty, your really body's already partially hydrated and when you're hydrated it messes with your it really messes with your ability to think clearly messes with your motor skills it, it causes you to be fatigued or easier so again his number three which probably should be number one tip was to stay well hydrated and don't don't ever underestimate the importance of staying hydrated so that's Larry's top three tips and again this is from somebody who's been out there I don't know how long Larry Larry stayed I don't know if he won or not 
I'm rooting for Larry to be honest with you. The other guys are great, but I'm, Larry's my Larry's my favorite. I hope he won. And he, obviously, he, he can't talk about that. He really couldn't talk much about any the details of the show except to say that he was on it. So, but. If you haven't seen it, by the way, it's on a, it's on the History Channel. Check it out. Um, there's some really great contestants on there. Larry's one of them. I'm rooting for Larry. Go Team Larry. But um, once again, thanks to Larry so much for taking a minute out of his busy schedule because people were pulling him like crazy because he's like a big TV star now, right? So just to talk to us for just for a minute. Obviously, I wish the audio would work because Larry did a lot better job of explaining this stuff than I did. But I did think that his, the his take on it was important enough to share with you anyway because I think that's probably not what most people would expect to hear when you talk about the top three survival tips from somebody who's really been out there and walked the walk. But I would pay attention to it because he has been out there. So anyway, thanks again, Larry. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't done so, I put out a new video every Friday, every Saturday, a new straight video. And it seems like lately a bunch of other videos throughout the week, especially with all these Blade Show videos. They'll be coming out pretty much like bam, bam, bam. If you like this kind of video, please give it a big thumbs up, let Google know. And finally, thank you so much for supporting this channel by doing your Amazon shopping through the Survival on Purpose links, survivalonpurpose.com forward slash Amazon or the product links in the description. And you can also support the channel and get a free one month trial to audible.com. You can download a free audio book uh, by clicking on the link below and checking that out. If you find it's worth the value, go ahead and stay subscribed. If not, go ahead and cancel. Either way, it helps support the channel and I really, really appreciate it. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident, so be prepared. See you next time. So I put out a new video every Friday. Friday. <laughs> but uh, my, he, I, know it, he, I know his beard was a big deal for a while. I think. Bears, cougars, or other wild animals. I think he won like Outdoor Beard of the Year or second place or something. Actually, one of the most, probably, his, probably should have been number one.